Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video, a sit down video, and I'm going to go over 25 different things that I do not buy. Initially, this was a way for us to kickstart our debt free journey and to save some money. We're always looking for things that we can make do without or if we can find an eco-friendly alternative, I always love to try that option as well. So let's get started. Item number one is paper plates, paper bowls, disposable cups, and napkins. Now I do not buy any of these to use like on a daily basis. A couple years ago I bought a roll of reusable paper towels from a lady on Etsy that made them and I also bought a matching set of reusable cloth napkins. So we just, we use them and then I throw them in the wash. Now I will say that I do have a roll of paper towels on hand because when my husband cooks like bacon or something really greasy, I do like to have paper towels for greasy things to clean up, but I don't buy them on a regular basis. I just have some on hand and sometimes if there's like pet messes, um, I'd rather use paper towels that I can just throw away rather than, rather than towels or cloths. The second item that I no longer buy is body wash in plastic bottles. We've gone back to using the old fashioned bars of soap and those work just fine for all of us. Using bars of soap helps us eliminate more plastic waste. And along those same lines, the third thing that we do not buy is shaving cream. If we need to shave, we just use the bar of soap and it works just as fine. Number four, I do not buy any scent boosters or smelly things for our dryer, for our clothes. This is partially because my children have sensitive skin and my oldest has eczema and her skin can get really irritated. So I keep the laundry stuff uh, very free and clear and very simple. The next item on the list is plastic toothbrushes. I do not buy any plastic toothbrushes. I haven't bought any in quite a few years. We've been purchasing bamboo. Bamboo toothbrushes are much more eco-friendly and they work for everybody in my family. They last for a long time and it's one less plastic thing that has to go into a landfill. This one I know is pretty common, but we no longer pay for cable. I know a lot of people have also done away with cable. Not many people have it anymore. We do pay for Netflix and Disney Plus though, um, because that is something that my husband and my kids really enjoy. They get a lot of use out of it. I mean, if it was up to me, I wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't even own a TV because I just never watch it. But those options combined are still a whole lot cheaper than paying for cable. The next item I do not buy is special event clothing. In the past, if I had a baby shower or a bridal shower or something to go to or a wedding, I would go out and buy a new dress for that and then it would get worn once and it would hang in my closet and then it would sit there and then eventually it would either, either it wouldn't fit the next time I wanted to wear it or it would be out of style. So now I have just some basic things that I can put together and I can dress them up, I can dress them down. Or if I need to, I always can ask my mom or my friends to borrow a dress. Along those same lines is uncomfortable shoes. I do not buy any heels anymore. I used to have some so that I could wear them when I went to these special events, which rarely happens. Um, I also used to buy like sandals that had like really big wedges. And then I would always end up twisting my ankle or my toes would be pinched and it's like I'm just done because I'm short I would always try to find shoes with a heel but now I'm totally on the going with the comfort direction rather than the fashionable direction I do not buy excessive makeup and skincare I know I see lots of advertisements for all this magical skincare that will make you look so much younger and youthful and the makeup that will fix all the things but and sometimes I get drawn in and I'm like, oh, well, maybe this is the one thing that will really work for me. And, and then I'm like, nope, I don't need it. It's got, it is what it is. <laughs> it's too much money. 
and it's probably not going to live up to what it claims to do anyways. So, so I'm going to just stick to the basics, my daily stuff that I know that works, and just keep it at that. I also do not buy any perfume. I do own a couple body sprays that were given to me as gifts. I mean, they're like this big and they last me for years. <laughs> There's so much left, they'll last me forever. I don't ever spend money on expensive perfumes. I mean, a little body spray and I'm good to go. I no longer buy laundry soap in plastic jugs. I do not buy any liquid laundry soap or detergent at all anymore. I use these laundry sheets, which are also much more eco-friendly, and they make much less of a mess. And especially if my kids want to help, they were having a hard time with the big jugs, they were too heavy, they couldn't pick them up and pour out the exact amount of, of soap that they needed. So it was a hassle and it would leak and it would drip and it, every, ugh, it would just make a mess. So we have switched over to these laundry sheets. I think they're fantastic, easy peasy. There's no measuring, there's no mess, and then it's better for the environment. Another item that we no longer buy to help reduce waste is K-cups or coffee pods or anything like that. Uh, we used to have a Keurig machine and now we have a different coffee maker with a reusable filter that we just wash and we clean and we just put the grounds right in there and we don't need to have any extra little plastic cups that need to be thrown away. I also do not buy planners. I do not buy a paper planner. I know some people love to get a new paper planner at the beginning of every year, but I, they're just not for me. Along those same lines are wall calendars. I no longer buy any wall calendars at all. I don't like them hanging up and having to look at them. Sometimes we would get free ones from the kids' school that had like the school breaks on it and their events, which were helpful to have. But I have everything I need on my Google Calendar and it's connected to my husband so we can each see each other's appointments or the kids' activities and we can see everything that's going on right on our phones. I do not buy any kitchen gadgets. I used to buy these over the years because I thought they would make my life a whole lot easier and all they really did was clutter up my drawers. So gradually over time they've been donated. I don't use all the different things. If I'm going to cut up something I'm just going to use a knife and you know the basics. I don't need any fancy cutters or choppers or slicers or whatever they have. The next item I no longer buy is new coffee mugs. We have a certain spot in our kitchen where I put all the coffee mugs and only six can fit there. So that's what we have. So there's no room for any more. I like to look at the coffee mugs, like when you're walking down the aisles in Target or something and you see all the pretty colors and the little sayings on them. I love to look at them, I'll look at them, but I'm not going to spend any more money on them and bring them home. Number 17 purses. I have one purse that I use every day. It's black, it's basic, and it goes with everything and it's not too big. I used to have purses that were like way too big, especially when my kids were smaller I think because I could fit a bunch of their stuff and their snacks and all that stuff in it. But now I have a purse that's just big enough for my wallet, my phone, my checkbook, and a few like essentials and stuff and that's that's good enough for me. I no longer buy extra sheet sets for our beds. We all have good quality sheets. I like to buy for my kids, it's, well especially when my kids were little and they were babies, I really like to splurge and I would buy them the Pottery Barn organic sheets like for their crib and stuff. And I, I really like that because they're, they were so close to the sheets and especially with you know skin issues as they've gotten older we've tried to stick to more just basic colors my one daughter is obsessed with cats so I mean she has cat bedding but we've over the years they had different characters and themes and they got sick of it or they outgrew it within a year and they're like well I don't want this these aren't cool anymore so I no longer buy any character bedding. Um, my oldest daughter, she has, she just picked out her favorite color 
and now she has a set of like mint aqua green sheets for her room. We do not buy any new technology. We only replace our phones if they happen to break, but we do not buy like the newest, latest and greatest things. My iPhone is an iPhone 7. So, I mean, it works just fine. It doesn't have to be the 10, 11, 12, 13 or whatever number they come out with next. It serves its purpose. And that's fine with me. I'm not gonna go out and spend an absurd amount of money on a brand new phone or um, a new gaming system or anything like that. The next item I do not buy is gift bags and tissue paper. I have quite the stash from over the years from the girls getting birthday gifts and even from my baby shower I still have some bags that were in really good condition. So I have saved and I have reused and repurposed bags for birthdays and for Christmas and for different events and I have quite a bit of tissue paper and my kids are pretty good about being careful with it too so a lot of times I can reuse tissue paper. I mean if I have to I can go to the dollar store and get a small package of tissue paper but most of the time I have plenty enough that I really don't need to buy any more. We also no longer buy toothpaste. Well I should say regular toothpaste in a plastic tube. We buy toothpaste in a jar. It's called Bite and it comes in compostable biodegradable packaging and it's like a subscription so every couple months you'll get a refill and then you just fill up your glass jar again and my husband and I use this and it's been great. The one exception is that the kids don't use it. They like their kid toothpaste. So I mean I do have to get that for them. But for us, this was a much more eco-friendly option that we have been quite happy with. Number 22, home decor without a plan. I used to love to go to like Marshalls or Hobby Lobby or Target and I would see cute things and I'd be like, oh, I love it. And But I wouldn't and I would bring it home and I'm like, okay, but now what am I gonna do with it? I don't really have a place to put it. And then so I just kind of shove it somewhere and then it just kind of turns into clutter. So now when I go shopping and I need like a home decor type item, like artwork or a mirror or whatever it is, I plan ahead of time where it's going to go, about what size it needs to be, what's my color scheme, what's the style, does it fit in with the, the feel of the room. I, I need to have a plan. And I'm not just going to just willy-nilly buy cute stuff just because I see it or it's on sale. So that really helps me save money too. Number 23. I also no longer buy scarves. Are scarves still a thing? I used to have tons of scarves. I decluttered a bunch. I did save a few warmer scarves for winter time, but I used to have a lot of like lightweight ones I would wear in the spring too. I feel like they're not really a thing anymore. Do you still wear scarves? I don't know. Number 24 is holiday decor with the exception of Christmas and I guess my husband my husband's really into Halloween so he buys stuff to he decorates the yard and he puts up this big display of it's his thing he likes to be creative and make a display in the yard but I don't buy anything for like Valentine's Day St. Patrick's Day I don't buy anything I have some stuff for Easter um, but I've had it for years and I don't buy anything new. I just use the few things that I already have. I don't buy any decorations for like the 4th of July or Thanksgiving or anything, any other holidays like that. So it's, and even with Christmas, I really, really have been trying hard to not buy new things because we already have so much Christmas stuff. I love, I love Christmas. And decorating for it but we have so many bins as it is <laughs> number 25 is toys well I should say unplanned toys first of all I try to avoid taking my kids to the store anyways but if I have to they know that it is not in the budget for me to just buy them a toy because they see it and they're like oh I like that and like what is it they're like I don't know but it looks cool no I am not spending money unnecessarily on some random toy that you just happen to catch your eye. What I have been doing with them for 
many, many years now, is if they see something that they really like, I will make note of it and I will add it to their Amazon wish list. And I will tell them, okay, I will take a picture of this and when we get home, I will put it on your wish list so that when a birthday or Christmas comes around, maybe a grandparent or a relative or somebody will see it or Santa will see it on your wish list and you then you will get it but I'm not gonna buy it for you today and they've been pretty happy with that that has worked so well for me you should give it a try it's like it's just enough to satisfy them to avoid having like a major meltdown <laughs> an extra little bonus item this one I can't say that I don't buy at all because I mean I do buy gifts but when I now when I buy gifts for other people I try to buy experiences because I don't want to clutter up somebody else's house like especially if it's for a kid for a birthday party I would rather get the kid a gift card to go to the movies so they can go have a fun time with their friends or if it's summertime, they can go to the local zoo or to like a place that has go-karts and things like that. Fun things to do that gets them out of the house and doesn't clutter up anything else. So whenever possible, I try to get more experience gifts, especially for kids, because I know as a parent, I don't want <laughs> to have a ton of new toys coming into the house after a birthday party. And I think the, the parents appreciate that too. I hope you found this list interesting. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other ideas that you can give me of things that I can cut out or I can swap to a more eco-friendly option. What are some things that you don't buy? Let me know if you like this list and I can do more videos like this in the future. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Take care, bye-bye.